Understanding the way people see things really helps us uh, create the technology that we need to get the stories across. At the end of the day, for us, especially working for a studio, it's all about people understanding the story. I'm rather excited about technology most of the time, but after something like this, it kind of refreshes you. It lets me, it let me be um, excited about stuff that's coming out. These really um, kind of start the process for me, especially, in thinking of new ways to to make films and new ways to create content. And, and those little germs, if you will, start to grow quite a bit. Uh, and, and especially when other people get excited about it, 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 it grows into some, some new and very interesting things. Well, a lot of the production that we do now, through trial and error, directors, cinematographers, and stereographers are guessing through experience on how to do things. All of this is cheat, none of it's real life. You're trying to present a 3D world through 2D images to a, a consumer. And so you have to know where you can cheat and where you can't cheat in order to produce an, an image that the consumer will find pleasing and comfortable. And if there's more success stories at the box office as a result of that, then the, the number of movies being developed in 3D is just gonna continue to grow. The very important part of this conference today was that it was explained in a manner that there is a takeaway even for non-scientists. 3D TV has left the hype phase and is now becoming in its maturity. So devices in the future, in the home, from a certain price point on, and the price point is relatively low, will have 3D TV implemented. 3D TV will be part of a media bucket. Um, what people receive in the home, what people can consume via a variety of distribution forms. So I believe it will not go away, it will have now its place in the media landscape.